Hello, this is Artifacts of Mars, and I'm going to do a rebuttal to Richard Dawkins' claims about laryngeal nerve, recurrent laryngeal nerve, which he claims is proof that animals evolved rather than being designed. He calls it a fuller design. First thing Mr. Dawkins says is that engineers would never make a mistake like that because it goes and run it splits off from something called the vagus nerve and heads on down into the chest cavity, loops around the aorta and heads back up to the larynx. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Dawkins, engineers would never make a mistake like that. Have you ever looked underneath the hood of the modern automobile? It's a horrendous mess under there. It's so illogically designed, it's pathetic. Yet yeah, cars still run just fine now, don't they? Well, we hope they do. Uh, I know for a fact we don't have components that are just lined up so you can just take them off as you need to and put a new one on. No, they don't do that. I know for a fact, for instance, that the water pump on my car is hooked up to the uh, timing belt that makes it po impossible for somebody with limited mechanical skills like myself to change it out. If, you know, engineers didn't make mistakes like this, then you would have these components lined right up one right after the other, and you'd be able to change them out relatively easily. You just break out a few wrenches, and boom, five minutes, and you're done. It's not the way it works, unfortunately. <sighs> engineers never make mistakes like this, huh? Um, Mr. Dawkins, sir... Have you ever heard of Battle of Midway and uh, Max Leslie's bombers? Max Leslie flew off the uh, Yorktown, which had been pounded and then repaired. They got pounded at the Battle of the Coral Sea. So Max Leslie goes to arm his bombs, getting ready to attack the Japanese, and what happens? Four of his planes lose their bombs. Because they put these electronic arming switches on the planes on the SBD bombers and they screwed up. Somebody screwed up. It was faulty wiring, faulty installation, nobody knows. Four of the bombs dropped right into uh, the drink including Max Leslie's. So don't tell me that engineers don't screw up. They screw up all the time. Of course, I don't know if you've ever heard of that uh, uh, big firebomb called the Hindenburg. Or maybe you're not aware that I think it's 9 out of 10 of our torpedoes in World War II didn't explode on contact. Yeah, the U.S. Navy had serious problems with that. So don't tell me engineers don't make these mistakes. Uh, now, this is an article by Jerry Bergman, Ph.D., whoever he is. And one of the ideas is that perhaps this nerve goes to uh, feed, goes to control some stuff down the chest, maybe in the heart region, maybe the heart itself. Although the laryngeal nerve does not take shortest route to the larynx, this is also true for many of the other nerves. Optic nerves do not take shortest route to the occipital lobe of the brain, but rather cross over the optic chiasm where the two tracks cross over in the form of an X for reasons now known to be based on good design. Nerves from the right side of the brain go to the left side, except for the right and left frontal branches of a facial nerve, which are supplied by 
both sides of the brain, also for good reasons. Likewise, the left RLN recurrent laryngeal nerve has a different anatomical trajectory than one would first expect, and for good reasons, and in contrast to Prothero's claim, the vagus nerve, the longest of the cranial nerves, travels from the neck down toward the heart, and then the recurrent laryngeal nerve branches off from the vagus nerve just below the aorta. Largest artery in the body originating Um, lost track, originating from the left ventral, ventricle of the heart and extending down to the abdomen. The right laryngeal nerve travels upward to serve several organs, some near where it branches off of the vagus nerve and then travels back up to the larynx. This is the reason it is called left recurrent laryngeal nerve. In contrast, right laryngeal nerve loops around the subclavian artery just below the collarbone and then it travels up to the larynx. I've noticed the fact that le longer left laryngeal nerve works in perfect harmony with the right laryngeal nerve, disproving the faulty design claim. Uh... Okay, this is too much for me, but uh, I'm not an anatomist. But I can see what it's saying. These nerves serve all other functions. Besides uh, just running the larynx. And they split off from the vagus nerve. And split off from the vagus nerve down below. Now, Mr. Dawkins, sir, looks to me like this uh, nerve actually does some things. Who the hell are you to say that, well, the, it couldn't have been designed because this would have been a bad mistake? Uh, gee whiz, Mr. Dawkins, sir, my recurrent laryngeal nerve is working just fine right now because I'm doing a video with it now, aren't I? Yours seems to work just fine, too, except that it's hooked up to a cesspool of garbage in your brain. No, not everything in the human body is perfect. Of course not. We're all mortal. And I'm not, and I'm an agnostic, I'm not a uh, Christian per se. I believe that there are superior forces that are uh, doing things for us. I think that we have been designed to an extent. But the point here is, this thing works just fine. Who are you to say whether a nerve should uh, go this route or not? Maybe there's a reason for it. Like they mentioned with that other one. There's a little organ attached to our uh, large intestine, not to mine anymore. Mine was taken off and when I was about 12. And that organ is known as the uh, verniform appendix. That doesn't seem to serve any real function yet. When it doesn't get all inflamed, it works just fine. Uh, the whole point here is that Richard Dawkins is full of it. And all in German Dubist Vola 
Mitch Scheist. You're full of shit. They serve, these nerves f serve their function, they serve it well. I'm sure there's problems with them at times, but they serve their function. It's meaningless, uh, you know, that they go down, that this goes down into the uh, chest and then heads back up. It may well be that it's connected to other things. In your own video, you said, Mr. Dawkins, that this thing has only been d dissected one other time. Gee, they know so much about it now, don't they? They know nothing. Now, Mr. Dawkins, sir, should we look at some of the other things in uh, human body that science can't even really duplicate? Let's start with liver, Mr. Dawkins. Which is by its main filter, produces bile, and cleans our blood. We can't even duplicate that. If your liver goes on you, you die. <laughs> if you can't get a transplant. Then you have to stay on these immune suppressant drugs all your life and you're uh, sick constantly because you always catching some bug because you don't have any uh, immune system. Gee, that organ works fine, beautifully, and it's in the same, and it's in every single animal. You see, that's uh, one of the things, Mr. Dawkins, is that uh, uh, we all seem to be designed similarly. If we'd all evolved, you would expect there'd be uh, a whole range of different organs. No two animals would be alike. That's what I would expect. But like with cars, you know, every car has a cooling system. Every car has a hydraulic brake system and you can go right on down the line. An alternator, power steering. And every animal seems to have the same thing. This, Mr. Dawkins, your uh, so-called investigation is absolutely meaningless. I can go through, and in fact I intend to, all sorts of things in nature which had to have been designed. There's just too much. I've already gone through a couple things like uh, why the flowers have the why are flowers showy and beautiful? when they're not there to be appreciated by humans. They don't do it to be appreciated by us. I've been through that. And another thing, so... Like I said, dub dubist full mit scheist. You're full of shit. That's the thing. My German's a little rusty. It may not be exactly right, but you get the point. When, uh, you, Mr. Dawkins, when you can sit there and create and say sentient intelligent mammalian being and do it from scratch and sit there and say okay this is what I created then you can talk until then Mr. Dawkins you're nothing more than hot air the human body is just an unbelievable marvel. You look at our lungs and we have these little grape-like clusters in there called alveoli where 
and train, trade oxygen for CO2. Those are amazing. The heart keeps beating and beating and beating. It's an unbelievable organ. Most pumps will break down, but it keeps right on going. So don't give me this crap. This is just from evolution. There's so much evidence of design in nature that you couldn't spend, you could spend your whole lifetime not even scratch the surface. You, sir, are an absolute disgrace as far as I'm concerned. You're a disgrace to science. As far as I'm concerned, all you are is full of hot air. Well, full of shit. That, too. That's about it. I'm not going to try to fully understand this uh, PhD because he's... I uh, got me beaten. Uh, he knows... Whatever this is, I, he knows more about this stuff than I do. I just have common sense. Their bodies are obviously put together. Yeah, they break down. We're all mortal. That proves nothing. We're all mortal regardless of evolution or not. Mr. Dawkins, with all due respect, stick it. <laughs>